He's gonna burn his phone. It's the life, all right. Catch a fish, cut it, cook it, and you're fine. Yeah. I grew up doing it, you know. Growing up, I can't stay away from fishing. It's just. I mean, that that's all we have. I mean, that that's what we learned. Not learned. That's what put into us. Our parents put it into us. Two at a time. Three. There's what you gotta do. We need a pack to dad. One just shot through it earlier. Just swing on this shot. Two at a time. Three. There's what you gotta do. We need a pack to dad. One just shot Without fishing, there's really no reason for Caltag to exist. Part of the big issue on this river has been the federal government has stepped in and they really, in essence, have reallocated some of the salmon resources from this river back out into the Bering Sea Pollock fishery. And for those folks that don't know what Pollock is, you go into any McDonald's restaurant, get a fish witch or a Burger King, that's where it comes from. We tried to get a count on what Yukon River salmon they intercepted. They said, well, we don't count, it's measured in metric tons. And it's thrown overboard. In some of the villages, there's 70 percent unemployment. I mean, you hear about it, national unemployment is terrible, it's 8 percent. Try 70 percent. The sense of hopelessness, you know, that because we don't have anything here, what I'm going to do with my life, those kind of questions always linger in the back of your mind. Well, it's the reason, one of the reasons our suicide rate is so high is people have nothing to look forward to anymore. A lot of times it's young men who are struggling to find their identity uh, in a changing world. You know, back uh, a long time ago, you know, the men were their abilities to provide food for the family was the main thing, and they were good at it. Uh, yeah. You know, when uh, it was, oh, it must have been 20 years ago now, we had a, uh, what was considered a Trump crash. Just by coincidence, they happened to harvest hundreds of thousands of chum in the Bering Sea trawl fishery, but it was considered a chum crash, and we weren't commercial fishing anymore. That next winter, in this area, there were 11 suicides. There was no work. People didn't have any money. You know, where do you go? And that's in a town, you know, a village of 179 people. You know, that's, you know, you take a, you know, a city the size of Houston or something that, you know, we're talking about literally thousands of young, very young men committing suicide on an annual basis, and that, that would shock the conscience. But because this is so remote, it just kind of gets um, ignored. killing rural Alaska, they're definitely killing off the natives. It, it uh, equates about to the same as when the government sponsored buffalo kills in the lower 48. It's uh, genocide. If you eliminate the reason for the native people to fish in this area or the reason for the native people to live here, you eliminate the fish, you eliminate the native culture. 